Test, test, test. Alright. Welcome to Stellar Pack Rooms. Let's play. We're playing as humans. Um, I'm going to upload the previous one, but there's not going to be any me talking because I'm an idiot. And we're going to go ahead and do this one with me talking. So. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that because I'm an idiot. <laughs> When I changed my graphic settings, which I, um, I changed my graphic settings, and when I did that, I changed my profiles, basically. So, because of that, I have a new profile where I'm testing out my new, new, uh, capturing code, uh, not codec, but new capturing, uh, settings. <clears throat> And the new settings didn't have my microphone for my microphone end spot. So, I wasn't recording my microphone <laughs> for the previous episode. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, boy. But I'm back with audio this time. All right, we're going to fight the Cortezine. They have one battleship, a few cruisers, and a bunch of frigates or and corvettes. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to go crazy on the battleship. That's actually a fairly dangerous ship. Um, it doesn't have shields, so my fusion beams will be really effective. That's great for us. He does not appear to have shielding tech. Um, some of these are stock designs, some of these are not. Fusion beams are performing excellently versus non-shielded ships. I'm pretty sure that that design is one of mine. Putting an armor plate in the center core is something I would do. Alright, great victory. Alrighty. And capture the planet. <coughs> hmm? 
standard defensive formation. Another great victory. So hopefully the graininess issue with my uh, video has been solved. I sincerely hope it has. Basically I didn't realize where I was supposed to up the bitrate when I first did it. So I didn't increase the bitrate that I was recording at. So I was only recording at a thousand uh, bits a second, basically. One megabit. So I upped the recording rate to three and a half megabits of data being recorded. Which is slightly more. Slightly more. So hopefully that will allow us to have a better quality video. Less grainy We can go ahead, um, we got class 3 shields a, while, a little while ago. Go ahead and take the St. Helens. Defenses, upgrade to class 3 shields. This will draw more power, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Drew a lot more power. We need, what is it, 163, 26, 40 power? So we're now 100 power shy of where we need to be. Where we would like to be. We don't actually need to be that high. We have just enough energy storage, so we just need more reactors. And we're going to drop an engine. Two engines? Okay. It doesn't, dropping two engines, we only dropped one speed value, which isn't too bad. We are two points slower than the cruisers now. Not the end of the world. We're still really, really, really fast for battleships. Speed 15 is nothing to sneeze at. Um, I think that'll work just fine. Call us the St. Helen 2. And we're going to take the Agamemnon and upgrade its defenses. Class 3 shields. And antimatter reactors. Oops. It does not need 279 energy regen, which means we can knock these down. In fact, that's plenty of regen right now for what we have on here. So we can actually do that and take ammo storage to the next level. And... Since we really don't have a need for anything else, we can put reactors here, or we could put armor plating there. With having this energy, we could actually do power to the shields for quite a while. So we'll call this the Agamemnon 2. Alright. And we'll, we can go ahead and upgrade our Charger 3s. We'll upgrade these, call these Charger 4s. The one disadvantage we have right now is we're only generating 80 power, which is half the power we need. Actually, a little bit less than half the power. So we want more power generation. We're 
I need more power generation than that. And that's not very much ammo. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the ammo. We're going to upgrade by putting you there and you there. Put that there. And that gives us plenty of power output because we need 160 a second. And we're generating 181, which means we'll, we're generating more than if we're firing all of our laser cannons and our fusion beams. Um, not much more, but a little bit more. So we'll call these the Charger 4s. Oh, the St. Helens quite a bit slower than I thought it was. Damn, it's seven slower than the Agamemnon 2s. And the Agamemnon 2s at the same speed as the Charger 3s. And the reason why is because of the main engineering. I'm only getting half the bonuses that the large main engineering gets on the other ship. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to put a large main engineering and enough reactors to really make it worth, I don't think. We can try. If it doesn't work out, we just don't save it. So put a main engineering in. And then... Put one of these down. And we still need 300 power. And there's just no good place to put more reactors on here. And that didn't give us enough speed. The biggest problem is this ship's very, very heavy compared to the other one. Uh, not sure why. Not sure where all the weight is. Not sure where all the weight is. It's also considerably cheaper to build. The Agamemnon is. It's cheaper to build, quicker. Doesn't have as many reactors, that's why it's cheaper. I wish that there's a little thing here that showed you your total weight. The only thing I can think of is these are 20 weight. And these are each 14, so... Yeah. So two and a half of these weigh double, over double, of what this weighs. And take the same number of slots. So that's probably why. I've got a lot more weight in the guns. And... That's like the only place. Oh, well, two. No, reactors are light. Hmm. That's only one. It takes up six slots. So that might be it. it. Might be also part of it. That's a lot of speed difference. Fourteen versus four. So that's ten more weight for those four slots on each side. So that's twenty more weight. Interesting. Okay. Confirm. <coughs> so we now have optimized, slightly more optimized designs that uh, we can upgrade to. We'll do that at a later time. There's multiple battleships in this fight on the enemy, on the AI side. That's weird. I'm not used to deploying on the right side. I don't have I don't have a problem with deploying on the right side. I'm just not used to it. Ah. Keep moving. 
keep moving. And I say we start at one end and work our way down the lines. Yeah, this is totally a design I made. This is totally my design. I remember making this design. I made that design. It's actually surprisingly effective. And I made this design, I believe. No, I didn't make this design. But I did make this design. Unfortunately, they don't have shields, and I've got fusion beams, so... Unfortunately for me, I really don't have a lot of point defense. Oh, looks like I have sufficient point defense. Just watch those huge memes go. Boom, boom. Goodbye, so sad. Just melting the ship. Forward shields aren't even phased. And we're actually taking most of the damage, I think, on the forward shield. It's just our forward shield is... Seven and a half times stronger than our side shields. <laughs> Something like that. It's absolutely nuts how much, how much there is on the front. That's interesting. Taking took damage on my rear and it got some of it got applied on the nose. Not sure. Not sure why that worked like that. Maybe it was damage that bypassed the shield on the nose. Hit from the nose. Uh, I shouldn't say bypass, I should say pierced. Cause I think there is a slight chance that any damage can pierce a shield. Um because I've noticed that point defense weapons will damage the remnant hulls. Not the remnant, sorry, the master hulls. Uh, when they first show up, you can use point defense weapons. You, like, the damage all gets registered to the shield. But if you watch, after a while you'll start to see damage get taken to the hull as well as being applied to the shield. So, I think so PD has a chance to penetrate shields, but I can't, I can't definitely prove it. But I highly suspect. Highly suspect. And we'll go ahead and launch. And it looks good. And we don't need to run that. Oh, this colony ship decided to reroute. So go ahead and move these guys back. Go ahead and invade. Standard defensive shell. He's got a laser on the end and these two back here.
All right, great success. I'm really looking forward to the next patch. H will go ahead and allow us any star system that you already have a colony in. The AI will not get malice against you for colonizing another planet in that system, which will be absolutely amazing. If we'd had that this game, we wouldn't have gone gotten into these wars on automatically. So we would have had to actually initiate these wars, which is not what happened here. All right, yeah, we're on the ground there. All right, and. We have a station. All right. <laughs> and here's a good test of battle. We're going to be going up against Mast Rail Fire. These are not our tier three ships our shield tier 3 ships. These are our shield tier 1s. But they still have an absolutely absurd level of shielding on the front. That's 60,000 shields on the front. So, admittedly that'd be like 120,000 with class 3 shields. So, not as good as if we'd had class 3. But it's definitely not bad. Go ahead and fight this. We want to make sure our battleships are out in front so they get targeted. And we're going to go ahead and target the first boat. Side shielding's down, front shielding is almost down. We've lost one beam. First cruiser's down. Take out the next cruiser. Uh, we should actually target that cruiser next. Battleship just took extremely heavy damage. That cruiser's almost down. If we lose an engine on a cruiser, it's history because it's already getting hit up the kilt, basically. This ship is. this battleship's barely holding together. It's lost all its forward shield generators.
All right, so we did lose a cruiser. So we lost one cruiser. Looks like that's all we're going to actually lose. Heavy, heavy beating on that battleship. Took a good beating on this battleship as well. And that, folks, is how you deal with railboats. Mass driver boats. Mass driver boats with shields could not stand up to my beams. And he had more mass drivers. He had a higher mass driver count than I had a uh, beam laser count. Hmm, he's got a mecha. I don't have heavy weapons. This could be interesting. That won't hit anything. I don't think that hit anything either. Oh, I could have shot. I'm. Mm, I hit space too fast. I think it'll be better for me to move this guy than shoot. This guy should take the shots now. Or, you know, he just shoots straight ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and kill that. And then... And then, really? All right. Great success. Didn't lose anybody. Took a lot of damage, but didn't lose anybody. That's what we want to see. Subspace projectors. Very interesting tech. Somewhat buggy at the moment. Very interesting, though. Definitely not bad.
So... Zero one has treacherous seas. And the population shrunk when I landed on it? No. No, it didn't. Okay, it just has zeros. Okay, I was thinking for some reason that, that was his homeworld. No, his homeworld's down here. Okay, never mind. Mind is straight now. I've got it figured out. Don't worry, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, I, I want to... I just want to park right here. Done. Um, capture... Automated River Bay, Aeroponic Farm, Imperial Bank. Go to get a star base and trade goods. Has my ammo yes, my ammo stores has recharged. My fleet is heavily damaged. It's gonna take a while to repair that. So that being said, do we have any new tech that we recently got? Well, we got cluster cannons. Those are interesting weapons. Oh, of course, we got plasma and photon torpedoes. It says long range weapon, but it only goes out to 400. And when you consider that laser cannons go out to 250, and well, I guess beams only go out to 150. But 400, I wouldn't really consider that long range. I'd consider that medium ranged. Um, long range, I would consider to be 650 plus. And this is 500. At max range, rapid fall off though. Like you really don't want to shoot this beyond 200. So, like disruptor cannons, it keeps most of its damage out to about two 180 range, roughly. At 180 range, it's lost 30 percent of its power. By 250, it's lost about 80% of its power. So. Alright, in defenses, we still have the same old, same old ECM jammers. It, we have advanced ECM. We captured that. And... So theoretically, if we were to take the St. Helen 2, right, and particle beam capacitors, if we were to replace half of these beams We should theoretically have a cooldown time. Should cool off 50% faster. Or 100% faster. But, or, well, should have half the cooldown time on these. So they'd fire more frequently. But I don't know if that would translate to be better than 4. Yes, I want to leave. So I'm not sure if that would actually be better. Don't really feel like testing it, seeing as how close the fights are <laughs> on that design. <laughs> oh boy! With how fast that flight, that last fight was, not real keen to find out. Now there is no station here, but it has ancient shipyards, which means I'm getting the full repair bonus of having uh, being at a shipyard. So orbital stations or shipyards count for this. And it's that bonus. Being at a colony, that bonus is 10%. 1% for default, and then my tech, organic components, gives me another 5%. So, something like that.
Mm -hmm. Or maybe that only works in the field, in which case, where am I getting that random 1%? Because looking at this, I can account for all but 1% of it. Not sure. I'm going to have to look at that more closely in the future and try to figure it out. Remember, that's an ongoing issue I'm trying to discover. We're almost repaired. We have plenty of money, so we can actually refit this entire fleet right now. Right here. Let's do that. Not that fleet. This fleet. So the Charger 3s get replaced with... Um, are these old Charger 3s or new Charger 3s? No, I want to replace the Charger 3s with Charger 4s. That's what it is. I just had to find the Charger 4. There it is. Refit. Refit both of these with St. Helen 2s. Refit. We'll go ahead and just purchase these up. 200, 200, 227, all right. And we're going to be lazy bastards and go ahead and increase the tax rate to max for one turn. <laughs> Drop it back down. I'll go ahead and purchase the last St. Helen. Now we are down one ship in the fleet. Shouldn't be that big of a deal overall because we've now upgraded to class 3 shielding. Alright so so our ships while we have one fewer they are vastly more powerful. Let's go ahead and fight this. So if you remember, our previous ones had 60k on the nose. Let's check see how much these have. We'll just compact this down to a 2 and 3 and just So each one of these, oh I can't see in here, darn it, ah, we'll look at it later, <laughs> has a lot more than 60k on the nose. easily cut them apart. The ships did not stand a chance. They were much too small. When you're designing your own ship to take out uh, mass driver boats, remember the two things that counter mass drivers. Speed, so you're not where they're aiming. I th I'm thinking I need to put these guys in the middle for fighting this properly. Okay, so the two things you want. You want speed and you want shields. If you have ECM, it can be handy, but it's not necessary. Isn't that fantastic? He's shooting here because the AI thinks it's still there because he fires all the shots when it's still there. But it's really not. But he still gets to fire at that square and hit me here. 
Love you, AI. I really do. Oh my goodness. Highly unfortunate. We did lose a troop. Uh, sort of annoying. I could have prevented if I just not shot three times and just moved. I didn't think he'd have as many shots as he ended up having, basically. That was my own fault. I shouldn't have assumed. Yeah, that's what this game's all about, though. Living and learning, always improving. Don't give up. Learn from your mistakes and get better. And... We're going to call it there for this episode. I've been Solar Packyderm. Thank you for joining me on my Let's Play.